really we're talking about the embryology of shape, that shape matters. We have really decided that shape is determined by genetics and your attitudes and things like that, but I think you'll have a different idea of that by the time we get through here. The whole predicate of the structural bodywork that I learned from Ida Rolf and that I've been doing for the last 40 years is the idea that shape can change, shape can be changed. And it's based on the idea of the plasticity of the fascial system. So that plasticity allows us the kinds of shape changes that you're seeing here um, with the girl on the left before she got work and on the right after she got work. I think you can see that the knees are hyperextended and that therefore she has uh, very deep curves in the lumbar and cervical spine uh, and that afterwards things have changed. We can talk about structural work some other time, but one, it can change and two, that shape change can be progressive that you can see in here, you see this young lad um, before he has any work on the left and then in the middle he is, that's right after his sessions and then on the right side is a year later without any further work. So you can see there was a certain amount of change from where he came in to where he finished the sessions. He certainly looks more aligned, but he does not look comfortable in the middle after the sessions. It's kind of an interesting thing because that's not where he ends up. The shape change keeps developing, keeps moving over the year. And uh, I want to use that to make the point that we are all in a state of change, that we are in essence all embryos all throughout our life. We're all in embryonic development all throughout our life. This was a point made to me by my teacher, Louis Schultz, um, the author of Endless Web, and I very much like that idea. We're in a constant stage of development. So we're going to be looking at the early development, we're going to be looking at how shape happens, and we're going to be looking at the some highlights within the realm of fascia.